All right, guys, welcome back to Midnight Gaming. Today we have I'm JP Jero. What's going on, everybody? And what'd you do today? I went top eight at uh, UDS right here for the qualifier with Crusadia. Crusadia. All right, Crusadia. let's go ahead and get into that deck profile. Absolutely. So first we have three a rope or Aboria, I believe you pronounce the name here. Probably one of the more important cards in the uh, Crusadia lineup. Sure. Protects your Crusadia monsters from uh, destruction and card effects. When it's in the grave, you send it, you banish it. You don't have to worry about it. Next, I have three Draco. Special summon into a Link Monster Zone. This card will bring be able to bring back a Crusadia monster from the graveyard back into your hand. Another huge important card. Three Leonis. It's the Piercer whenever it uh, special summons over to a Link Monster Zone. And here's probably where things differ compared to other profiles. I play two Maximus and two Reclusia. I don't, think they're, I don't think they're as important as the other ones. Mainly the other ones are more protection. Mm -hmm. And I usually play the uh, Leonis as we have a little bit of extra spice coming up in the deck. That's not all Crusadia monsters. So I feel that's a little bit more important compared to here. But two definitely great, uh, great effects over here for the double damage when you're going on offensive and disruption when you're playing on defensive as well. Mm -hmm. uh, next we have two War Legacy Crown. Two, I feel, is enough in the deck. I know some decks play Lance here and there, but since it's not really searchable, you can't really special summon to a Link Zone. I don't think it's really as necessary. It also provides protection, so you can tribute it off. It has a nice quick effect where you can negate the effects of a monster after this is sent on up. Plus, when you link it on over to your other Crusadia monsters, it's a nice 2k bonus to the to the damage. Uh, and I guess here's some of the little spice here. I play three Rescue Cats and one little Bambi. And the reason I got some of this, I know sometimes Sometimes this deck, since you know it does, it does like the OTK, it does like to go second, but you know they're not going to let you do that if you lose that dice roll sometimes. So this is hugely important, I feel, so that way you can get your Nat Beast. It's been extremely helpful in certain matchups. So this helped me get a lot of games under my belt today. Uh, I do run a Kaiju package. I run four Kaijus. I've got the Gamma Seal, got the Radium, got the Dogaran, and the Thunder King. Again, it's OTK board. You want to get over that tr that uh, problem monster tribute over that sucker so that will when you get your big link three on out one punch man I'll call him <laughs> he basically will just steamroll anything this is base this is dead cards to your opponent if you can get that one card knockout that's all for the monster cards that I had uh, spells again we did a little bit of spice I played the sky striker engine so I got the engages that way we can go ahead and of course draw into two hornet bit two hornet drones it's kind of tough to throw in a third one. I don't know if the third one is even necessary in this particular scenario. Of course, you can search it. And then I also threw in a Widow Anchor just so that that way I'm able to get some disruption either on my turn, if that's the case, if I just have the equal mech sitting out there all alone, or if I want to push for the offense and I know I have a big monster that has a nasty effect, I'll go ahead and utilize that once I get a link out so that way we can make sure that it, those effects are negated no problem. Uh, three called by the grave. It's pretty important that those effects that you do have are able to go off and you're able to combo off and link up the ladder. So hand traps can be a bit of a problem going up against it, so gotta play three of these things. Also for the Disruption, Crusadia Power. Fantastic card, searchable. You're able to, uh, for the quick play, target one of your Crusadia links and all effects are negated except its own effects. So that's huge. That way you're able to continue on with your plays, continue on with the disruption, and not have to worry about whether or not you get hit with a hand trap or any other effect for the remainder of the turn. Just one of the field spell for the revival. Again, searchable. Don't feel like we need too many more of these. The Link Monster gets 500 attack. You can target whatever Link, in this case the big Equimax, so that that way you're able to basically go for that OTK. That one monster can attack every monster once per turn, or once, once for that turn, so it's a huge, huge monster. Yeah. Then I got a bunch of one ofs here. I play Rota that brings out your water monster just in case you either don't have another Crusadia monster, or sometimes I'd even use it if I did have it, maybe bait out that Ash Blossom so that that way we can make sure that's out of the way and continue on with the plays. Monster Reborn, since you got your Kaijus, you gotta have the slumber so that way you can nuke everything. 
and make sure you have everything set up so you can either prepare your OTK or just start from scratch so you can really make sure you're beaten at home. One succession, since every one of these monsters can be special summoned to a Link Zone and all your Links benefit from that, you've got to play. I was going to see if I can maybe fit some more, but right now it's a little bit tight since I did play 40 cards exactly, with the last being the Vanguard. Really fun trap to play, really good one to go ahead and play off, especially when you're going first. You can set that bad boy, play whatever um, Crusadia monster that you have with the Equinax. And then whenever they have a card that may be problematic to you, flip it, tribute off one of the Crusadia monsters, put out a Reclusia. Where is that Reclusia? Right on over here, so that that way its effect immediately goes off. Once it's in the Link Monster Zone, you can use it for disruption. Target a Crusadia card, bounce that card, bounce this. And hopefully that board will be a nice little bit better here for you. Yeah, let's get moving into Extra Deck. Extra Deck, I play two of the Link ones. That one, when a Link, when it's special summoned into that Link Zone, you're able to search a Crusadia monster. Two of the Link twos. That'll help get a spell or trap, Crusadia spell or trap into the hand. And two One Punch Mans. One this, Punch Man, huh? One Punch Man, this thing is fantastic. Every monster that it points to, it gains its attack. It also has a quick effect where if it's being targeted by a particular effect, you're able to tribute off a Crusadio or World Legacy monster that it points to, so that, that way it's able to be safe from all those effects. It negates the effect any face of monster. So even if you go in and you attack, let's say your opponent even has a mirror force, they flip that over, you do the quick effect, that mirror force is, the mirror force is negated, you can proceed forward. Is that all for the extra deck? You got more. Oh, I got more. All right. As far as Crusadia monsters, that's all that I had. Uh, since I did play Sky Strikers, I did do two Kagari. The thing I probably would do is maybe switch one of these out for a Shizuku or maybe even a Hayate later on. One Phoenix, one Cerberus, one Unicorn. Didn't go into these too often today. I never really needed it. I just went to one Punch Man and he did almost all the work. Uh, Trisbana, since I know sometimes this deck can be prone to back row, if I'm able to go first, I could possibly even set up the Topologic Trisbana, have the trap set up, get Reclusia ready, and nuke everything so that that way they have nothing if I'm playing against that Altergeist or whatever the case may be. Borlo Dragon, uh, would be Borlo Sword if I had it, but I don't. As I'm sure you all saw me from what I was pulling later on, didn't work out okay, that's all right. Uh, do have a Gumblar. There is a particular combo with the Rescue Rabbit, or I'm sorry, Rescue Cat, and the Hornet Drone, where you can just go off and start ripping cards out of the hand. So it's pretty effective. Didn't get too much of a chance to see those two cards in combination, though. And my favorite, Synchro Monster and Net Beast over here. This thing was fantastic. Played Sky Striker, and I believe it was Rabbit 2. They couldn't play at all. I got this out, especially since they, you know, thought it would be fun to have me go first. First. I was able to get Rescue Cat, everything resolved perfectly, Equimax linked with this, just kept on burning, they couldn't play a thing. Okay, let's go on side deck. Side deck, play this where I got my hand traps. No hand traps in the main you said? No hand traps in the main, it's an OTK deck, I feel this would only slow it down, uh, you know, in certain scenarios. In certain yeah. decks, I'm sure some of these, I mean, you know, Ash is did probably the best thing. Did you sign into them at all? Or? I did sign into them, unfortunately, I never saw them all day today. Okay. So I sided in against the Trick Stars. I had that, was it Trick Star Sky Striker? I think that I played Invoke Sky Striker in the top eight match. Never saw it. So that led to my downfall, but three Ash and two Droll. And those are the only hand traps that I played. Well, I guess the only monster hand traps should I say that I played. <laughs> Since again this deck is prone to back row, I played two twister, two twin twister, two right. true nade. <laughs> two anti spell. Two red reboot. This came in huge of all things. Manifest I played. And the red reboot, I ended up seeing those one siding in both times, and it helped me OTK for the win. And the only other thing that I'll play is the infinite permanence. I just, Again, I like nice that. hand trap to start off with if I'm able to get it, set it, hopefully nuke a card, make sure that everything is taken care of, negate, and even hit some things in the same column. That's the deck. That's the profile, everybody. All right, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, catch you guys next time. Take care.